Hey there everybody, today we are going to talk about filters in the Create Mod, how useful they are and why you need to be using them. So let's get into it. Now with the use of filters, you can make your item sorting super efficient. You see a lot of blocks in Create have this little filter slot here. Now anything I throw into this top barrel, as you can see, goes right through and is instantly at the bottom because that's a cool smart shoot. But because of this filter slot, I can apply anything to it like this grass block. And now when I throw items in, only grass blocks will go through, as you can see. But that'll only work for a single block type unless you use a filter. And that's what we're going to learn about today. There's a lot of create blocks that have this handy filter. You can see I put orange concrete in all of these to highlight the filter slot. And this is how you create them. For a basic filter, you just need two iron nuggets in any wool. For an attribute filter, which is a much more advanced filter, you need two brass nuggets in any wool block. And with these filters is where the magic really starts to come out. So if you take your filter and right click it, you'll see you get this cool little UI up. There are 18 slots here where you can put items in and now these items are part of the filter. So like I just showed you before, anything that tries to move through this filter can only move if it fits these requirements. And if this is all you wanna filter, when you're done, just go hit check mark and it saves the filter. You can see if we right click it again, your filter is still there. If we're not happy with this filter, you can just hit this trash button and it deletes it. You also notice we have these other buttons over here, which are super helpful. Now default, starts off on allow list but you can also switch it to deny list so now if i have these blocks in my filter and i go to deny it'll take anything through the filter except those blocks which is super useful and then over here we have ignore data and respect data it starts on ignore data by default which ignores extra data i guess you could say things like is an item enchanted how much durability it has stuff like that that will get ignored here but if you switch to respect data if you got say a mining pick in this filter that's at half durability it'll only accept those mining picks that are at half durability and once you have your filter you just toss it into the filter slot and now this block will be filtering all the items just how you want them but there are some limitations with the basic filter and that's where the attribute filter steps in to save the day so when you right click on that one you can see we got a bit of a different ui here and it says add reference item here so let's go ahead and take an item and put it in that spot now you'll see it says it is placeable next to it. Well, if you hover your mouse over that, you'll see there's a whole bunch of other options. These options will change depending on what's in that slot. So there'll be different options depending on what you have. This one has is placeable, so blocks are placeable. Is furnace fuel, so that's cool. So like how wood items can be used as fuel in furnaces, this tag will filter out any of those. So thanks to all these tags, the Create Mod knows where things are and how to use them. Is in group decoration blocks. That's referring to the tab you can find it in, decoration blocks. And if we scroll down, we can see, yep, there's the barrel. And then I believe this one's pretty much always there was added by Minecraft. That's to help separate Minecraft items and blocks from modded ones. Now let's try a different item. Here we got a sword. We have an option cannot stack, is tag C swords, is in group combat, and was added by Minecraft. So like I said, there you can see we have different options we can filter by. Now say we're happy with the can be haunted tag. We just go over to the plus sign over here, add attribute to list, and we click it. Now we can see this name tag down here has one on it, and it says can be haunted. So this will keep track of all your attributes. Now we can go ahead and go back up to the grass block and add is in group building blocks. So with that highlighted, we can go ahead and click add attribute again. And you can see it's now part of the attribute list. And this gives you the ability to do some really advanced stuff. Now let's start over. Say we want it to be in the group is placeable, but we want blocks that aren't placeable. We can go over here, add opposite attribute to list. And now if we look, is not placeable. Let's try another one. Was it added by Minecraft? No, it was not added by Minecraft. Pretty cool. So you can reverse your attributes that way. And just because you went opposites with some of them, you can still go ahead and do regular attributes with other ones. But it gets even better. We've got these three buttons down here. It starts out on allow list any. And we can see that items are accepted through the filter if they have any of the selected attributes. So as long as a block is matching at least one attribute, it'll be filtered through. But next to it, we have allow list all. And that allows the item to pass through only if they have all of the selected attributes. So they need to have everything that's in this section. And finally, we have the deny list, which only lets items through that have none of the attributes. And like before, when you're ready, you can go ahead and click the check mark and add your filter to whatever needs to be filtered and you're good to go. Create mod filters, they're super handy and super easy to use. 
especially that attribute filter, which can be a little bit confusing at first, but now you should be able to use it just like you're a pro. Something else the pros know is that in Minecraft 120, you're able to finally make infinite lava sources, just like you can make infinite water sources in vanilla Minecraft. It's so cool, so handy, and I made a tutorial how to do it right there. So if you're interested in infinite lava, check it out. And always thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.